Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kyle Record, and I'm, I'm back at you with another video review. And this time, we'll be taking a look at the WE Basic Series 118, Eric and Ivar, otherwise known as the Viking Raiders. Yes, finally got Viking Raider figures in my collection. I'm actually pretty excited. Now, at first, I didn't care for these two at all, like as a, TA, um, uh, as a tag team, but over the last couple of years, I've become quite the fan of the Viking Raiders, so I've been pretty excited to get figures of them. I missed out on the Elites because I never found Elite Series 80 in my stores. So when I found out that they were making these, I got very excited and I was able to track them down. I got Eric at Walmart earlier this week, and since and since Ivar wasn't there, I got him on Amazon for about 10 bucks. So if you're looking for these, check them out. Anyways, before we take a look at the figures, let's take a look at the packaging first, as we always do. All right, I'll start. Uh, pretty much both of, them are the, both of them are the same. Pictures there, of course their names, Eric, Ivar. Series 118. And then on the back has the other figures inside. We got Jeff Hardy, Finn Balor, of course the Viking Raiders, and Austin Theory. The only other figure I'm gonna pick up from the set is Austin Theory. Now when I picked up Eric at Walmart, I also picked up Jeff Hardy. Finn Balor, I really don't like that figure, mainly because of the head. I think that head sculpt works better when it's painted like the demon, which we've seen that head sculpt before on, uh, on I, think, I think the Ultimate Edition has it, and I think the Elite Series 70 has it. It's that angry face with the clenched teeth. It doesn't look that good when it's unpainted. It looks better when it's painted like the demon. So Finn Balor pass. Like I said, Jeff Hardy I picked up, and Austin Theory I'll be getting pretty soon, hopefully. So not bad. And of course, the Viking Raiders we're reviewing today. Anyways, that's about it for the packaging. So let's open up Eric and Ivar and see what we got. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So here we have Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, open up out of the packaging and looking pretty solid. These are pretty solid basics. Now, once again, yes, the Elite figures are better than these. But these are still pretty solid basic figures, especially for you basic collectors out there. Now let's take a uh, I, They still have a few issues, but I'll get to that. But anyways, let's take a look. First up, take a look at Eric. And he looks great. Same head sculpt as the Elite, and I think this is a really good likeness to Eric. I think it looks just like him. Looks great with the beard and the face paint. It's awesome. He's got all his tattoos, which these look sick. I mean, these are probably some of the coolest tattoos I've seen in a while. I'm surprised they actually put the his uh, death tattoo on his chest there. Because usually, you know, you know, Mattel, they're, obviously they try to keep it PG, just like WWE. So I'm surprised they even put that tattoo there. It obviously says death there, it says true there, so true death. Because usually they wouldn't put something like that uh, on a figure. So I'm surprised they actually put that. Anyways, it looks great. Got the chest tattoo. Now his waistband is a separate piece, so you can move it up and down if you choose to do so. Or if your torso crack this, you can take this off if you choose to do so. Got the symbol there on his uh, wrist tape. Of course, tattoo on his hand. Which I'm a little concerned uh, about the hand here. As you see, it looks like it's not even pushed in all the way, so be very careful with that if you have, the, if you have that issue. Got his gray and blue trunks in the back. Unfortunately, mine has a giant scratch there. I can cover that up. And the symbol there on the knee pad. And this is actually a lot bigger than I thought. Like, this figure is a lot bigger than I thought. It has a little bit of weight to it. Like, in the packages, and look, it looks like your standard size figure, but it's actually um, quite a big figure, and it weighs a lot, too. It's got some weight to it. Maybe because the kick pads, and these are big kick pads, and they're pretty heavy. So maybe that's what's doing it. I don't know. So Eric, not bad. But I do have a complaint with him, but I'll get into that later on after we take a look at Ivar. Now on to Ivar, which is probably my favorite of the group because he's so athletic, especially for a big guy. I was like... Damn, like some of the stuff some of the stuff this guy can do in the ring, I'm like, oh my god, I'm surprised a big guy can do that. Once again, same head sculpt as the Elite. I think this looks just like Ivar, it looks great. Excellent detail in the face paint. Now look at that beard. Oh my god, that's a long beard. How do guys like these deal with beards like that? I had just a goatee and it itched like crazy. Like, how do they deal with beards like this? Oh my god. Look at the long hair in the back. I'm always surprised he doesn't have like tattoos on there. He feels like plain because he has no tattoos well actually he does on his legs though i was talking about but you know what i mean like on his chest and his arms because obviously eric has a bunch of tattoos anyways much like eric he's got the uh symbol there on his wrist tape and the loincloth nice sculpt the detail there and they it does have trunks underneath so you probably could take this off if you wanted to and it's actually very soft rubber so you're able to move the legs with this loincloth on but it does get in the way a little bit and same thing with eric i uh, have a symbol on the knee pad, but it is different. Wait, is it different? Yes, yeah, different. For a second, I thought it was the same. And tattoo there on his on his calf. 
and very small boots. I think this is new boot mold. I don't remember seeing this. But correct me if I'm wrong, like I said, I think this is the first time we've seen this boot mold. So, not bad. Now on to the issues, which I will mention in the articulation. Yeah, the issues with, that I have with these figures is the articulation. All right, first up with uh, Eric, I'll go with the articulation here because this one's easier to move around. Let's see, head can swivel left and right, but because of his beard, he can't go all the way around. Arms will rotate 360, they can go in and out. Bend the elbow, rotate the elbow, swivel with the wrist and hinge. Swivel waist, legs, forward, about that far. And back to original position. Bent the knee, but because of the knee pad, it's a very hard rubber, so you can't really move it that well. Like, I wish it was the soft rubber that I think Tucker and Otis had that from the previous series. So why couldn't they put, like, a really soft rubber for the knee pads here? So it can bend the knee, but like I said, the knee pad very hinders it. And swivel at the boot. Now here's where the problem is. Because these knees are so tight, and because the, the knee pads get in the way of bending the knee... His boot almost ripped right off of the peg, so I'm, a, so I'm afraid I'm going to break it if I mess with it too much. But like, like for poses and stuff like that. So I said, be very careful with that. I'm not sure if the Elite had that problem, but this figure definitely does. So be very careful if you choose to buy this, this figure. And Ivar has some problems um, of his own, too, with the articulation. Because of this loincloth... You can't really move the legs. I mean, you can move them forward a little bit, but that's like nothing. Because, like I said, it gets in the way. Because it's tight. And same thing as Eric, you can't really bend the knees because these knee pads are so stiff. Because it's such a hard rubber, you can barely move the knees. And once again, I, I was afraid that, that the boot was going to come right off when I bent it. So be very careful with these figures if you choose to buy them. But aside from the articulation issues, I think these are pretty solid basics. Like I said, the elites are better, but these are not too bad. I think they're kind of underrated. I think, these basic uh, I think these basics deserve more credit than people give them. So some quick final thoughts. Overall, I think these are pretty solid basic figures. Once again, like I said, I think they're very underrated. Like, people like to crap on the basics all the time. Sure, there's problems with the posability and everything, but there's but basics are still pretty solid. Like I said, my only real complaints with these figures is, of course, the limited posability in Ivar's legs because of the loincloth. And also, of course, the knee pads on both of them. Like, like They're so tight, you can barely move the knees. I see this pose here with Eric. This was a pain in the butt to do. I, I thought it was going to break the kick pads off. But I was still very careful. I was able to do uh, I was able to pull it off. So I would say if you pick up so I would say if you pick up these figures, definitely be careful with them. It was a seven the limited possibility. These are pretty solid basic figures. Yes, the elites are better, but these are still pretty solid. I'll give them I'll give them a I'll give them an 8.5. So I say if you're a Viking Raiders fan, definitely pick these up if you can. I, th I think they make for great display pieces and photography pieces. But I said the elites are better. But these are still not bad. So I say pick them up if you can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links down below. Be sure to pick up your official Kyrecker merch on my store on bonfire.com. Link down below. And also, I upload new reviews right here on this channel every single Saturday. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you never miss a single upload. And also stay tuned for, for uh, maybe I might have another review for you this week. It depends on if I get that specific figure in the mail. So... Stay tuned. All I'm going to say is watch out for the V-Trigger. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, that's what it is. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll, I'll see you guys next week. Take care, guys.